A lot of words will be written and spoken about tonight's Orange Bowl game, but probably as much attention will be given to the longest penalty given a wagon <laughs> in bowl history yeah. as anything. And Brigham Young's probably sitting at home just licking their chops. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's any problem as to who will be number one. The uh, Oklahoma Sooners certainly don't have to worry about the national championship. It's been a great year for Oklahoma, but the Orange Bowl was a disaster as the Sooners were beaten by Washington 28-17, and maybe Washington should get some consideration for the national championship. Championship. The Huskies stunned the Sooners for two first quarter scores. The first one came on this 29 yard pass from Paul Securo to a wide open Danny Green. Washington led 7 0. Later in the quarter, Jacques Robinson broke loose for 13 yards down to the Sooner one. Robinson also got the touchdown. But the Sooners came back in the second quarter as Danny Bradley scored from a yard out. Then on the final play of the half, Bradley threw a strike to Derek Shepard, who raced 56 yards for the score. And at halftime, the game was all tied at 14. No scoring in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, Bradley got loose on a 12-yard run to the Washington 26-yard line. The drive stalled. Tim Lasher came on to hit a 35-yard field goal to give OU a 17-14 lead. But Washington came right back. And when Hugh Millen hit Mark Pattison from 12 yards out, Washington had the lead 21-17. Just moments later, the Sooners were deep in their own territory. Bradley had his pass tipped by Ron Holmes and intercepted by Joe Kelly. It did not take long for Rick Finney to take it in from six yards out, and the Huskies led 28-17 with less than five minutes to go. There was no further scoring. The Sooners end their year with a record of 9-2-1. and one. Bob Berry Jr. is standing by live in Miami, so let's go to Bob Jr. and get his reaction to tonight's Orange Bowl. Well, thank you, Robbie. We are live in the Oklahoma locker room. The Sooners are disappointed, but they played hard in their 28-17 loss. With me, All-American nose guard Tony Casillas. Tony, did Washington surprise you offensively? Yeah, they did. Just the fact that they were able to rush, to, uh, rush as much as they did. And uh, when you play a team like that, the passes, it's really kind of hard to isolate one particular thing. What about the running back, Jock Robinson? He gained a lot of yards. Yeah, he's a heck of a player, and uh, I don't think we played as well as we, we could have on defense, but uh, you know, I take my hat off to him. He played a heck of a game. There was one play in the late, early in the fourth quarter when Sooners kicked an apparent field goal. They were called for a penalty. The Sooners schooner came out, and they were penalized 15 yards for that. That did a lot to momentum, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It's, it's really depressing when something's taken away like that, some uh, mistake like that, and it really was depressing at the time. And, you know, it's kind of hard to swallow something like that, but uh, I guess uh, you just got to live with it. Well, we appreciate your time. Congratulations on a great All-America year. Thank you, Bob. Tony Casillas, now we plan on having another guest here pretty soon. You'll have to bear with us since we are in the Sooner locker room as we're looking for Oklahoma quarterback Danny Bradley. The national media is just now starting to pour in here, and we'll just have to bear with us. Oklahoma losing 28-17. to Washington probably gaining more yards offensively against Oklahoma than any team this year. Jock Robinson had a lot of yards. Danny Bradley's on his way over. Robbie, bear with us. We'll have him over here in just one second. Washington finishes the year 11 and one, their best record since 1925. Danny Bradley's now on his way. Oklahoma finishes nine, two and one. Who will be number one? Barry Switzer gave his vote to Washington after the game was over and we'll find out tomorrow at 6.30. Here's Danny Bradley coming on in. He's disappointed Danny Bradley, but we appreciate his time. Danny, a couple quick questions, we'll let you go. It was a tough game, but the offense seemed to have problems with turnovers. What caused them? I, I don't know. Uh, we just didn't play well. We, uh, I guess, had our minds on the national championship too much and didn't do what it takes to go out and beat Washington and prove people we are a good football team. Was their defense one of the best, if not the best, you've played? Sure. They were one of the best. I've said all along. They was probably uh, one of the best, uh, better than any defensive team we played all year. They certainly have good players and good coaches, and they showed it tonight that they're a good defensive football team. Danny, you had a great career at Oklahoma. It's a bad way to end, but I'm sure Sooner fans appreciate your effort. Did you feel this was a good game individually for you or not? No, I didn't uh, play well. We uh, didn't none of us play well. We all tried, and uh, I, like I say, we, we thought too much on the national championship and really didn't take care of our business. It's, we had one play here and one play, player there that uh, had a broke down in situations that really didn't give ourselves a chance. We well, fumbled the ball here and fumbled the ball there, so it's, you know, you can't win like that. Well, I Take your time. Thank you, Danny. Danny Bradley, the Oklahoma quarterback. I'm Bob Berry, Jr., reporting live from Miami, Florida, in the Oklahoma locker room. Thank you, Bob, Jr. Job well done. The bowl game endurance test today started in Dallas with the Cotton Bowl, Boston College against Houston, 